on the thick of it all. If they don't give me room, well, then I'll give them a while. I'm gonna smoke my tires when the victory calls. I'm gonna be there, be there. I wanna see my face up on the jumbo screen. Feel the wild high metal of a winning machine. Because you win or you lose, and there's no in between. I wanna be there, be there, be there. NASCAR on speed. We head to Sparta, Kentucky at the Kentucky Speedway for our first Pencil Truck Series chase race of the season. It's the KFC 250, the 10 race chase to the championship. On the pole is substitute for the 98, William Bowen taking over the 98 reins for the final 10 races. Two is outside the 27 of Laura Delano. They have a few chasers in the second row. You have Isaac Nichols and Diego Yapez rang out the top five. Another chaser, Luke Rainey. Then six, you have James Dab Leo. Seventh, Steve Larker. Code Luigi in eighth. Ninth, DJ Reed. Another substitute starting or running out the top 10. Al Oliver, the Oliver, Ga I can't talk today. Uh, <laughs> Oliver Galloway rounding out the top 10 in the 21 truck. The rest of you have Marcus Sacha with Jack Hanarama. That's two more chases. They have Sebastian Kukulon and Alex Stewart. Miles Riley's for YouTube and Levi Shones. Then there's Steven Taylor and Jeff Bright. Keith Stevens a chaser with Michael Cantor on the 47. They have Mike McDonald and Steve Morgan a chaser. Carson Bowers a chaser with Justin Zedell on the 13. Then there's Jonathan Beaver and Colton Yo, two more chasers. JJ Reed and Alan Bowman. Derek Camel and chaser Mathis Wells. Then there's Landlines and Tim Randolph, Michael Ferris, and Stephen Baker. And in the final row, Tim Gary, and starting 36th, Chaser Trey Rainey. That's your sign lap for the KFC 250 at Kentucky. Let's get going with our starting command. Gentlemen, Gentlemen start, start your, your engines. engines! You look crazy. You guys just be patient out there. There's going to be a lot of guys real amped up because they've been sitting around for so long. So just be calm, be patient, pay attention to who's around you. 10 Chad, I got you, buddy. Gonna be a fun race here at Kentucky to start out the Penzo Truck Series chase. It's, it's gonna be three, four wide action here at Kentucky, and we could see a big one or two in this race. Gonna be hard racing for these chasers, 12 of them. And we'll see who comes out on top here at Kentucky. Pace truck in, 26 laps. Uh, a lot of chasers starting up towards the front, some starting towards the back as well. Here they come into the restart zone. Bullen out front, two's outside the 27 Delano. To the restart zone, they hit. And we're racing at Kentucky. Green flag is in the air. Isaac Nichols leads lap one, the 29 from the third starting position. Already stacked up three and four wide behind him. DJ Reed look for the race lead. Gets moved up to the middle lane. Alex Stewart down low, and they're already three, four, and even five wide in the pack as they come off turn number two. Again, tighten that pack back there. You can see how close they are. Down the back into turn three, three wide, four wide, five wide. And chasers all scattered throughout. Bomb top middle. Off of four, Steven Taylor peeking low on Isaac Nichols. He gets down there, but here comes Michael Canto even lower in the 47 truck. Canto to the inside, gonna get to the race lane in turn one, and there's still four wide in the pack. This is a, a scary experience for chase drivers right now, seeing what's happening. Carson Barrett's trying to emerge from that with the race lead. He's one of our chasers, Mathis Wells, a chaser just behind him. And they are four by four by four. It's like we're at Talladega. We'll get there in a few weeks. Mathis Wells to the inside of the 51 trying to challenge. He was one of the lowest starting chasers. And the guys started 36th and coming off of four to complete the third lap. Trey Reigns already inside the top 10. And the 18 is third on the inside. He be top five, even the race leader by the end of this lap. So that 18 takes no time to get from the back to the front. You can see he got up to the top five in about three laps. Tim Gary to the race in the 44. Alan Bowman in the 66. Tight there. Moves up the racetrack. Tim ran off in the bomb lane trying to come through. Just inside down the 13 just behind him. There's still four wide in the pack. Close hard racing here at Kentucky. Tim ran up for the race lead on the bottom lane. Justin Zedell behind him. Zedell moving to the inside now in the 13. Across the stripe they'll come. It may have been the 52 lead in the lap. Close there. They're saying Zedell on the leaderboard. Now Stephen Baker to the inside. Truck on the apron. Up into the pack. Stab Alito it was. Oh, we got truck upside down. It's the four Landon Lions. 
Marcus Sachi may have been involved. Cole Luigi, Jack Cannon, Trey Rainey, two chasers. There's Locker. Back in front. John to be returned. Leading the back. He's one of our chasers. But here comes Derek Hamill to the bottom of the 17. To the strike they come, and it's going to be Hamill in the 17 truck. Leading us back to the caution flag here on lap number six. Lions. Bowers is going to be done. That's 16 truck. Trey Rainey is damaged. Michael Canto. Cannon Rumble getting away. There's Cole Luigi hanging into the pits. And it was the 75 of uh, James Sabley, the first one to make contact in that he was on the apron and came up. So we'll see what happened. Here's the issue to bring out caution number one. James Sabley on the 75 in the middle of a four wide, five wide close there. And he kind of gets hit by a spray tube, and then comes down to Delano. And then trying to save their five wide still. And then the 75 gets clipped down onto the apron and shoots right back up the racetrack into the six of Steve Larkin to the eight. And then right there up the track they go. They get Bullen. There's the Ford land lines up off the ground. There's Sachi. Steve Larker. Trey Rain. Jack Canaron. Well, there's Canto as the four flips over the six truck and lands back on all four wheels. A scary roll for land lines in the four truck. Sad just got tipped there by Delano coming up. And basically everyone that's out on the outside. Nichols does a great job there getting slow to get low and get by. Was that Bowers that nailed the inside wall maybe? Yeah, I think lot, or about, yeah, Bowers, I think, came down and nailed it inside. Well, look how fast they're going there. Right there, hard contact. See the 16 right there, spin down low. Oh, yeah, he made some pretty rough contact with that inside wall. We'll go on board some chasers involved. First, the 18 train ring. We mentioned he started 36. He had made his way forward, and the commentator's jinx just struck as he was involved in this one. He's just up inside the top five, and then he left go by here on the outside. Can't go anywhere. Wow, hard hit there. Was at the 51 from Mathis Wells that barely was ahead of what happened behind him. 68 Carson Bowers involved in this. He's all torn up. He's getting one of the chasers done for the day. Yeah, pretty hard contact there for Bowers. His day is done early. Isaac Nichols, a chaser who's basically 36 at the time of this crash, he gets it slowed down enough where he can just get low and get by. Look how close this is. He got hit a little there, but he should be all right. Nichols doing a great job there, getting slow to get out of the way. Jack Hare on the 50 involved. Nowhere to go for another one of your chasers. These are the tracks the chasers fear to come to. It's all out of your control on how your day is going to go. With how you're racing pack racing, someone makes one small mistake, and you're going to be in it. And that's what happened here today to so many of our chasers. Luke Rainer's on 36. When this happened, he gets low. He was luckily down the bottom lane, and all the space for him to get by. And he sees all that happening. He just gets low, and great job there by Luke Rainey. He emerges, and he gains a lot of positions there. He still has a race track. And one more. Mark is touching the 92, all torn up. A lot of chasers. Still only race one though in the chase and they can definitely get back in these next nine races but still a ton of chasers with damage in this. About three or four. Back in front we thought it was going to be the 0-2 John Speedford but Derek Hamill stole one there at the end. Hamill leads back to the caution flag and also leads back to the green flag as the 17 is out front. This will be an interesting restart. We'll go back in lap number 10. Out from that crash Carson Bowers one of our chasers. Landline Steve Larker and Marcus Sachi another one of our chasers. The 18 Trey Rainey Chaser is one lap down along with Michael Cantos. That's a spot there for Trey, even though it's not a chaser, it wouldn't matter. Cole Luigi is on the tail end of the lead lap in 30th. He's currently not your race leader, even though it, it would look like he would be. 29 trucks technically on the lead lap. 30 are technically, but 29 definitely without the tail end. Derek Hamill out from the 17 Chaser behind second. Jonathan Buford, Michael Ferris third. Jeff Wright fourth. Chaser Keith Stevens in fifth. And Oliver Galloway, Steve Morgan, Alan Bowman, Diego Lopez, and Stephen Baker rounds out the top 10. Here they come, restart zone. Derek Hamill leading as the slow truck, possibly of Cole Luigi in front. We're back racing. 17, Derek Hamill takes the outside. Buford even higher. Ferris gets split four wide to the bottom lane, the 23. Great move by Michael Ferris. He's going to get him to the race lane, one and two. And that 24 is slow. Cole Luigi's backing up through the field. Now we'll see which chasers can, can get by and which ones get slowed. Outside lane going. The inside not going at all. Truck's going high, trying to get by. Meanwhile, Jeff right in the 68 out front as they go through three and four. 16 laps are racing to go at Kentucky. It's led by Jeff right in the 68. To the inside, here comes the 21 of Oliver Galloway. 74, Keith Stevens, the A7 of Diego Gapez, the O2 Jonathan Buford, all chasers in this front pack. 
You got the 12 of Steve Morgan just a little bit further back. He's also a chaser. I think I see the 51. Matthew Wells coming up to the front. The 10 of Colton Yo is coming forward. Trying to see other chasers. Luke Ray may have gotten stalled behind the lap truck of Code Luigi. Maybe fading back a little bit. Here comes Jonathan Beaver to the end side of the O2. He'll grab the race lead, coming to 15 laps of racing to go. The pack spread up on the front field. Buford, three chasers on the bottom lane. Buford, Yepes, Morgan. Yepes looks low. Can't get there as Morgan makes the move first in the 12 truck. Comes the 51, Mathis Wells, a chaser, coming into the mix. Along with Colton Young, the 10. They have the 7 coming forward, and then a whole train of trucks behind as Morgan going for the race seat. But Stephen Baker looking even lower in the 19 truck. Here comes that 19. Couldn't get there. Morgan keeps the race lead for now. Off of the corner. Stephen Baker. Three wide to the middle lane. Derek Hamill to the bottom in the 17 truck. And Morgan with all the drafting up up top. Can he get clear? No. Hamill with the push from Michael Ferris. There's Colton Yo. He was expressing his concern that now the points can be tightened together. He wants to continue the momentum he's had throughout the whole regular season and try and get the finishes he wants here in the postseason. The chase. Well, right now he's in position to get a Great finish here today, running inside the top five in the late stages of the KFC 250. We're coming to halfway, 13 laps to go here at Kentucky. Mathis Wells leads Colton Young the 10, Oliver Galloway in the 21, and then you have the 74 and the 7 coming on the bottom lane. Yo for the race lead as they come off turn number two. The 10 takes it, moves up the racetrack. Now the 21 back to the inside, and more trucks starting to sprinkle their way into the pack. The 29. It's the next chaser that could try and get into this pack. That is Isaac Nichols. He's coming forward in that 29 truck. He's in the draft of these trucks in front of him. Galloway to the race lead in the 21. Now here comes Mike McDowell all the way to the bottom of the 7 truck. And a push from Jeff Wright will steal the lap lead. 12 laps of racing to go here at Kentucky. Mike McDowell leads Jeff Wright into turn 1. Some trucks sliding up the track there. Getting a little tight. Tire wear. Big here at Kentucky. They do have a slow truck already. Oh! Backstretch! That's Colton Yo going around the 10! John, uh, the 66, and Bowman coming up the track. Riley Spruce has just been nailed by the 10. Delano possibly also. Stephen Baker in that 10 truck is done. Colton, yo, we were just talking about him. There's Alan Bowman as well. And they were about to catch Michael Canto. 11 to go, yellow out. Sebastian Kukulon gets away, and we do have a chaser involved. The 10 of Colton, yo, running in the lead pack, and will finish poorly. To start out his chase bid. Let's see what happened. We saw trucks go off the racetrack. The 21 of Oliver Galloway was one of them. He goes five wide to the top. Colton Young actually made it five wide. He went five wide to the uh, middle. And they just run out of room right there. Alan Bowman and the 10 make contact and hard to the wall for Colton Yo. There's the 21 of Galloway. There's Mathis Wells going around the 51. Stadley bumps him a little bit, but can Wells save the truck? Four hits the wall. There's Baker. There's the 21 spinning. There was Nichols avoiding it. And then Spurly tube hard contact there with the 10. And Luke Rain, this really helps him get caught up as he's able to miss this without any contact. So Luke Rain, back in this, he could try and have a shot at this before it's over. Yeah, hard contact for a lot of drivers here. I was trying to see if Wells kept out that inside wall or not, but I was, focus was taken to Nichols avoiding the crash. There's Wells spinning, spinning, spinning. He makes slight contact with the inside. He should be all right. We'll just have to see how his truck goes and who he's going to be behind this restart. If it's some damage trucks that he's behind, you know, that's not going to be good for him. Galloway was spinning like a top there. Lucky he did not get hit by anyone going by on the outside. And then Yo coming up there. Hit hard by Spurly too. We'll go on board with the chasers involved in near it. First the 10 of Colton Yo with the onboard camera. He goes five wide. Doesn't work. real estate oh right there yep just came up and hard hit luckily Nichols missed him he was already ahead and Nichols was hard on the gas will go on board that 29 he was hard on the gas trying to get by and he does and he gains a lot of positions and now he's gonna be in this main pack Ow. you fly you see the smoke there and you fly by you just follow the truck in front of you hoping it works and it barely did for the 29 truck Going board with Luke Rain, the 88, as he is also able to miss it. He left off the gas just a little bit at the end there, uh, making sure that he's not involved. And you see the smoke. You kind of see an opening right there, but I think you see the trucks hit in front. You see that 27, so you slam on the brakes. He's looking able to get by and get low. One more on board, Matthews Wells on the 51, takes a spin here and gets some damage. He should be able to continue on, though. Right there, he's got hit by the 10, a little spins it around, and he makes slight contact with this inside wall. Right there, slight contact. 
he should be all right. Well, should be all right to continue on here for the rest of this race and try and just gain any point he can. So back in front, racing back, Sebastian Kukulon, who won the Gary Cup Series race at Pocono. He's currently re leading the Target Series chase. He's on the chase here. He's just looking for wins. He's trying to get out, get out and win here at Kentucky. Kukulon leads back to the green flag. It will be a seven lap to go restart here in the KFC 250 at Kentucky. From that crash, the trucks out, Alan Bowman, Colton Yo will finish 31st and as one of the lowest chasers, and Riley Spirit do just above him in 30th. Michael Canto will lap down long, Trey Rainey and Cole Luigi. Rainey cannot lose any points, he can neither gain any, um, of course, unless there is a crash, which he can gain spots there. 26 trucks on the lead lap, Matt as well as the last of them in the 51. Out front for this restart, Special Google on the 32, Jeff Bright second, Tim Gary third, Tim Randolph fourth. And Jonathan Beaufort, your highest chaser in 5th, Diego Gapes, chaser behind him in 6th, Derek Campbell 7th, Mike McDonald 8th, Steve Morgan, Keith Stevens, two more chasers, 9th and 10th. Isaac Nichols, Luke Range just outside the top 10, but in this main pack with a shot to victory. Green flag back out, 7 laps of racing to go. 68 truck blocks the top side pretty well, moves Tim Gary to the top, Tim Randolph looking for 3rd, possibly even 2nd, as Jeff Wright for the race lead off of turn number 2. Gonna take it, Jeff Wright. Trying to take as they go into turn number three. No help. 52 drives low. Yepes and the ace haven't coming forward. Three wide behind as they come off a of four. Jeff Bright's going to lead to six laps of racing to go. Yepes to the bottom lane in the A7. One of your chasers trying to be the highest finishing chaser here today. He currently is, but he still has six laps to make it work. Derek Hamill in the 17 pushing him. Steve Morgan, a chaser just behind him. James Dabble in the 75. 29 Nichols has joined the battle. Luke Ray just outside this battle. Levi Shones last is in this pack. Steve Morgan, this 12, coming to the bottom. Yepes up top. Ham on the middle lane. Morgan all the way to the bottom. We'll take it. Here comes Kukulon back in the 32. He's looking four wide for the race, and he does make it four wide. A push from the 29 of Nichols. Five to go. Yellow would end it, and they're four wide for the race at the front. Kukulon clears. Nichols clears in the 29. They're looking for the race lead, and they're stacked up five wide. It's not going to work, is it? Oh, there they go. Steven's around. That's going to end the race. Who leads them back? DJ Reed to the bottom lane. Does Stanley overrun the 75? Does Stanley overrun? They're racing back. It's going to be DJ Reed to win at Kentucky. He has to make up four laps, but it's going to be Reed. Big crash back stretch. Yeah, Pez was involved. Stevens, I saw involved. Trey Rainey, lap down. Ooh, was that... Zydell in pits. Luke Ray may have been far enough back to where he missed it. He's going to end up 14th, it looks like. There's Canorama. He's going to end up 12th in the 50. B for 10th. Wells, 9th. Looks like Morgan's going to be 5th. How about that? Nichols going to end up 4th as well. So he's going to be a highest change it looks like. So we're coming to 3 to go. But big crash back stretch. Keith Stevens, one of the first guard on the 74, and loses a, a ton of chase positions from this crash. We'll see what happened. Final caution, third of the day. They got five wide here. It looked like they were going to make it for a little bit, but it's just never going to work here. Five wide at Kentucky. Barely enough room for four wide. And right here, some contact made with Stevens. He kind of comes down, and then he sees that he's about to spin. He gets clipped right there. I believe the seven and the O2 may made some contact and up into the wall. Yepes, Buford goes around. There's Shones in the 22. There was... Was that Luke Rainey piling into the A7 of Yepes and then getting piled through by the 5 of Taylor? Oh, look at Zydell. He came in there, no breaks into the 8, and then hit a few more on his way out. Yeah, that, that, that was a crazy crash right there. So let's see right here. 7 kind of came up into the O2, made some contact there. Here comes the 8 of Luke Rainey, hits Yepes right here, then gets piled driven through it by the 5. Zydell comes in, hit the, hits, hits the 8, and then nails, wipes out the 44. They're still working at, ahead the 21 of Galloway. Made some contact there as he was trying to drive through it. Oh, right there, he hit the 8 and spun right across the front of the 88 of Luke Rainey. Luckily, Rainey didn't hit him. Going on board with a few chasers in this. Luke Rainey, the 88, one of them. So he was just outside the main pack and gets caught up. Right there, slight contact, and then got just pushed through right see the carnage happening all around he's like what what is happening to me like just get me out of here Diego Yepes and the A7 involved he'll lose a few chase points from this
On board with one more driver, it's the 74 of Keith Stevens, one of the first go around, and the big crash on the back stretch. And that ends the race. And it comes out with DJ Reed on top of the 33. She's going to coast it around here to the checkered flag. There are two to go. We'll come back at the checkers. Coming off turn four, DJ Reed in the 33 truck will win here at Kentucky. He'll steal one from the chasers. And Isaac Nichols will take the points lead. He finishes fourth, your highest chaser, and Steve Morgan right behind him. As well as John Hibiford, Canarama, Luke Rain, some others round out. Checkers are out. And it's going to be DJ Reed winning the KFC 250 here at Kentucky. Reed takes the checker flag over Stavlio, Kukulon, Nichols, and Morgan. As the rest of the trucks come across, we'll now go check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the KFC 250 at Kentucky. There were three caution flags for 12 laps and 12 lead changed among 11 different drivers. DJ Reed ties for most laps led with two other drivers. To win here at Kentucky, James Stavlio ends up second, Sebastian Kukulon also led five laps in third, Isaac Nichols fourth, Steve Morgan fifth, Derek Campbell led five laps in sixth, Mike McDonald seventh, Levi Jones eighth, Mathis Wells ninth, and Jonathan Beaverd rounds up the top ten. There's your top 20, William Bullen start on pole, he ends up 11th, not leading a single lap. And inside the top ten, we had four chasers. Jack Cameron with your fifth chaser in 12th. Luke Rainey finishes 14th. Okay, down Keith Stevens 20th. So seven chasers inside the top 20 at the end of the day. 24 on the lead lap. As, excuse me, 27 finished running. Steven Taylor's Adele from that last crash. And three chasers suffer DNFs. Colton Yo, Marcus Sachi, Carson Bowers. On the right side are the points. Pretty much how the chasers finished. Marcus, or excuse me, Isaac Nichols leading the points, and uh, Steve Morgan right behind him, Mathis Wells, Jonathan Beaford, Jack Canaramo, Luke Rainey, Keith Stevens, Diego Yepes, Trey Rainey, Colton Yo, then you have Marcus Sachi and Carson Bowers as your field for now, but still 11 points separates first to 12th. A lot can happen in the next race, and a lot will happen in the next race. We head to Hillside for the next race, the Sunoco 250. I'll see you guys then.